Hey everybody, RBC back here with you for another episode of Buy Not Buy. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, a little recap from last uh, last episode. I uh, first of all really appreciate all the feedback. Uh, appreciate um, all the comments and what your thoughts were. I uh, had a lot of comments about Jason Dominguez. Jason Dominguez was on my not buy list last week or two weeks ago. Uh, I really started thinking, having some second thoughts after reading a lot of what you um, what you guys sent me. But I got to tell you, uh, we're still in the same spot. Uh, he is currently batting 200 in AAA over his last 25 games. The Yankees are not a step closer to bringing him up. I think Brian Cashman just said possibly if they need him, which I'm not sure what that means in September. So uh, here we are again, waiting on Jason Dominguez. So for me, I'm still gonna still gonna hold out. I have a lot of them, but I'm gonna hold out a little bit to see what happens. Okay. So a little recap from last week. I'm gonna try to do that because um, I tell you, I was really close to changing my mind on that. A lot of you had some really good comments about Jason Dominguez, uh, and what I I do agree is going to be a bright future at some point. But I don't like I don't like holding cards for a long time. So let's get into today's episode. Um, we're gonna look at a little bit of a little bit of football, a little bit of baseball. Um, as we start transitioning into football, there'll be some more football that pops up. Um, but we're gonna start today with our not buys. We are not buying. Um, and the first one, what a difference two weeks makes, right? Paul Skeens was one of my buys. Um, and, and listen, I I'm not saying you know avoid Paul Skeens cards. That's ridiculous. But the price point's getting pretty high now. Uh, it's it's getting more and more difficult to buy at a price that at least I feel comfortable with being trying to flip it trying to you know uh, make a little money especially in the short term I think a long-term investment I still think there's there's room to grow with Paul Skeens if that's something you're into um, holding I mean he is possibly going to be your National League MVP or Rookie of the Year I should say um, so I think there's a lot of good there. I do not. I love the Pirates. Everyone knows I'm a, I'm a Pittsburgh guy. Love the Pirates. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. I think they didn't do enough at the trade deadline. So for me, I am drastically slowing down. Let's just word it as slowing down while I'm buying Paul Skeen's cards. All right. So that's that's one of mine. It's just at this point, I, I'm going to start the, the transition and uh, more into football or somebody else. So for me, Slowing down drastically on Paul Skeens. Let's slow down. Uh, my second one uh, today, my second player is going to be Justin Herbert. Uh, football's coming around. I'm like a lot of you guys out there, uh, especially you flippers. I love it. I'm a fan of 2020. Who isn't, right? I mean, these quarterbacks. And I was trying to think of like which guy would make sense. And you, know, you look at Herbert, the talent's there, the arm strength is there. I actually think he's as good as anybody in that class. Honestly, he's just as good as Joe Burrow or Hurts. Um, I think there's a lot of potential to even be better. I, I like the addition of Harbaugh as coach. Harbaugh does great things with quarterbacks. But where are the receivers, man? Like, there's no receivers, I, I'm, at least none that I'm confident with. Um, Johnson can't catch. I mean, I think he's proven now is it going into his second year. He's having a terrible camp from what I'm reading. Uh, and on top of it now, you have the plantar fasciitis, if I pronounced that correct. Um, that's going to be a problem. He's not going to play in the preseason. So I'm going to hold off on trying to pick up some, some Herbert cards, which probably, I'm guessing, um, really haven't researched it too much. But at one point earlier in the summer, um, they were pretty low compared to some of the other guys in that class. So, um, yeah, I'm going to hold off on buying Justin Herbert. So my two not buys, or I should say my one not buy is Justin Herbert slowing down on Paul Skeens uh, for the foreseeable future anyways. Uh, so there you go. Let's turn to buys. Buy, um, buy, buy. Uh, um, what I think are some great buy opportunities right now. Um, the first one, football. I mentioned this guy back in one of my videos uh, six months ago. Um, and, and now I'm seeing um, what's happening early on in camp. And I am super excited about Will Levis. Will Levis is flying under the radar. He's having a great camp. Look at the additions to wide receiver. You got Ridley. You added Tyler Boyd. You still have Traylon Burks. 
DeAndre Hopkins is injured. The injury is not serious. It's looking like a four-week injury, so he should be ready for at least early on in the season. Not going to say he's going to be ready for game one. You look at those running backs, you got Pollard. Um, I forget the other one. I think Spears uh, is another running back they have. Both catch the ball great out of the backfield, uh, so there's a lot of yak there. Um uh, the tight end, uh, I think it's Unconquo, uh, uh, if I pronounce that one correctly. Big, big tight end. Um, love that one. Is, love that tight end. That's a little sne little sleeper in fantasy for me as well, you fancy football players. So I really like the chance of Will Love is putting up some early numbers this year. I think it's a quarterback where you can easily, um, you know, flip something that you're buying now. Um, I Preseason's coming up. You're going to be able to see what he's doing in the preseason. That might give you a little bit more confidence um, or a little bit more of a gauge, you know, to kind of see where you're at on him. But I'm a big Will Levis fan. I like the potential with that offense um, and what you can buy his cards for right now. I don't know if you can, you can find a better entry point as far as your price point is concerned. So Will Levis, my number one buy now um, for episode two. Um, moving on uh, to baseball. Uh, guess what? Jackson Holiday's back. Jackson Holiday's back. Um, called up. He's now had six games uh, back up in the major leagues. I don't know if you paid attention, but here are his stats. He's 8 for 20. He's batting 400. He's got three home runs in six games, one of them a grand slam. That's eight RBIs. He's hot. All right, uh, and it looks like he's getting comfortable, and I think that is um, a recipe for some fireworks. Playing on a team that's going to make playoffs, uh, going to get even more exposure than what he already has right now. His card slipped when they put him down to AAA uh, and Double A when they moved him back down. Um, they demoted him. Now he's back up. Uh, you can still buy a lot of his cards, uh, although they are starting to progress up. You better get on that train quickly. So he is hot, hot, hot. So I would buy as many um, Jackson Holiday cards as I could find right now. I'm going out to do so um, as soon as I get done uh, with this video. So um, in, review, in review real quickly here, I'm slowing down on skeins. I'm not buying Justin Herbert. Next um, episode, I am going to talk a little bit more specifically about some of these 2020 guys and some other quarterbacks um, uh, coming out. Uh, we're going to do another video here next week on that. Um, so look for that. Um, so my for not buys, Skeens, and Herbert, my buys, Will Levis, Jackson Holiday. Go out and get yourself a couple of those cards uh, as quickly as possible. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, please subscribe. Uh, please comment. When you comment, it helps me. It helps all of us learn. It gives different perspective. Um, and I don't mind being called out um, if you disagree. That's part of the whole process. So um, feel free to do so. Take care, and we'll see you next week.